So the thing is, the any entity that has a relationship with users based off of logged in data can still have still has all of these very granular audiences that that media plans and media activation have been using for the past let's say three to five years and these are the this is this is fang right this is this is facebook this is amazon this is google and, and the question the question really is, you, you can still do this. You can still do this very easily. But how do you do it while diversifying your supply? How do you do it while not having a full reliance on FANG? Because that's really the larger, that's really the larger issue. How do we make sure that our digital media plans are not just these three players? Not that they're bad players. But it's just always a risk to to over invest in one in in a couple different players, just like it is for for any type of business. So that's the question that we're asking right now, and that's where we see publishers and our own first party data playing a huge role. So what to go back to your question on on what do we need from publishers? We need an easy way to work with them, and we need scale of audiences that are relevant to us. And for a CPG, those are broad-based audiences. We're not usually looking for, for people who ski or for people who play baseball. You know, we're, we're looking for women 18 to 36, or we're looking for, for moms, or we're looking for dads or cat owners. We're looking for these broad-based audiences that are actually quite a bit of the population, you know, our biggest verticals at Nestle are coffee, water, pet care, and, and infant nutrition. And for coffee and water, basically everyone consumes those, you know? But we want to reach them with those relevant messages we talked about so that we're not just reaching them with a mass message. And that's where we need to segment the audience into cohorts or into behaviors. And so I think what Permutive is doing is is incredible. I think it's it's absolutely everything that was just talked about is absolutely the right step forward. What we need is to figure out a way to easily connect it with advertisers in a simple and seamless way. And, and I think a lot of advertisers want this, but they don't know yet how to approach it outside of building their own first party relationships, which is, which is hard. And like I said, it takes time and effort. The other thing I would note, I think there's there's a lot around standardization that matters, uh, but there's also a timing issue at play here too. So not only are you a little bit in trouble if you haven't begun your strategy as a marketer, uh, but the pace of industry-wide or even publisher-wide efforts to standardize and to, to make things easier can only move so quickly. So I think this is also a moment when if you're a marketer and you know it was it was great to hear this from Nestle, if you if you care about diversifying beyond Fang um, and if you care about still having an audience strategy, now's a moment when you need to diversify as well. And that means really understanding where are the relationships that you can put trust and extra effort into? Like with premium publishers, I'll speak for the four of us. Um, you know, where are you going to put in the extra effort um, to gain value in ways that aren't completely standardized and aren't industry wide? Where are you going to start to make sure you can rely on audiences while the rest of the ecosystem and the rest of the internet is adjusting and you know, we had this conversation, I, I was speaking with one of our clients who said, are we going back to where we just, you know, RFP two publishers and that's all we work with? No, I don't think that's the answer. But I do think in the near term, you need to look to the places you can trust, who are going to respect your consumers, who respect their consumers. Um, and that's likely to be building deeper relationships directly with publishers to some extent. Absolutely. Yeah. And I would also say, I would also say that like if there's something that you want the publisher side to like coalesce around because you believe that this is like a strategy that you want to move forward with, like 
I, I know all the people who are on this call, plus more people at other publishers that you definitely work with. And like, we have conversations about how this, this shit technically works constantly. So if you want us to, if you, if you have an idea and you want it to be something that we can do at scale, we hop on the phone with each other and figure that out easily and a technical solution for it so that you can del deliver it out at scale. Will it be 40,000 sites? No, probably not. It will have to be a smaller pool, pool than that. But um, I would say that, that uh, you know, don't, under, don't underestimate the power of getting a couple publishers together and us being able to figure, figure out something that helps to service your needs. Great. Band together. Actually, a small a small plug for you guys. Even though we're not on the you know on the platform as of now, I think that that's actually something that actually you guys have done really well, which is to build something that can create a sense of standardization and pull people together. Because I think what's happened in prior you know the competition around you know DMP to DMP uh, was a proprietary solution, whereas you're using essentially what is a what is a standard solution. You guys just happen to actually build it in a way that it's extremely flexible. And that's, that's really important because it allows that as the, and there are going to be more regulations and there are going to be more browser changes and there's going to be more, it allows the, the mechanism that as the technology changes, you guys will be able to change with it. And so uh, I think that, you know, what I said that from a tech metal standpoint, I think that there's going to be a new tech metal, but I think it's not going to be a tech metal. I think it's going to be a tech alignment, right? Um, you know, uh, truly publisher aligned, right, truly buyer aligned, but then actually needing to figure out what that common language is. And it's up to us to figure out what that common, you know, what that common uh, identifier is going to be. I would totally agree as I sort of call for uh, people to get, uh, help us build together. I think that's the, I think that's the totally right message for, for the marketers in the room, um, figuratively speaking, unfortunately, but the, uh, uh, but, but for the, so for the, for the marketers, it's, it's get us an, an, an impact on what you feel like you need. Because especially now, you say jump and everyone's jumping. <laughs> um, and so if you say, if, if someone's watching here and says, uh, get the New York Times, get News Corp, get Meredith, get Vox in the room together, we're in the room together. Like we'll do it tomorrow. Um, the, uh, and so let's, let's build together and, and get us to, we're all friends here, as you can tell. So like, get us to build uh, solutions for you. Um, for the publishers in the room, it's the, um, it's the get, get the focus on the, the central, to Chip's earlier point, centralized data strategy. You've got to get buy-in up and sideways across the organization. Otherwise, it's not going to, it's not, you're not going to see much fruit of the labor. Yeah, um, I will say that like there has been uh, previous uh, examples of publishers and specifically like um, ad tech companies that kind of back end the, the pipes of things um, uh, working together and, and coming up with solutions that make sense for the industry as a whole. And this is where my shameless plug for prebit.org comes in to all of my uh, all of my regular drink. everybody drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I, I was expecting the F bomb before pre bid, but okay, that's good. So, yeah, here's my just one bingo panel yeah, bingo. There we go. Um, so, I would encourage if you are on the publisher side to become involved. Uh, it's it's um, uh, a very fun group that's together uh, building things. And if you're on the ad tech side, um, also become involved because it's one of the only. Uh, industry bodies that build stuff together and can kind of get along in the best possible way uh, to make sure that we're making things that are standardized across multiple uh, different publishers. So uh, there was. <laughs>